When aluminum bats were first introduced, I mean, one of their characteristics was aluminum doesn't break like a wooden bat does. So you don't have to worry about broken bats. But in addition, they had some dynamic characteristics made it easier to hit with an aluminum bat. And um, one of the reasons is an important part of hitting is this coefficient of restitution. When the ball hits the bat, there's an impact. The energy from the bat goes into the ball and the ball goes out. Well, a wood bat can lose a lot of energy in it, but aluminum has that pinging sound. And so it has the possibility of giving a lot more energy to the ball. And so this meant you could hit farther and harder. And also, you know, a wooden bat is very tapered and it just has to be because of the grain. But an aluminum bat could be more cylindrical and that gave a larger sweet spot. So now you could hit a ball off your fist or hit a ball at the end and get a better hit. And turns out little leaguers liked that because it was easier for them to hit and they began to enjoy the game more. Over the last few years, it had become such a power game that the strategy was somewhat to sit back and wait for the home run. Because really anybody from number one or number nine to number nine in your lineup was capable of hitting a home run. With the new bats, that's no longer the case. The good hitters are still capable of, of hitting for power, but the hitters who had flaws in their swings um, and really were just good hitters because of the bats, those hitters are, are, have now come back down to earth. It was kind of a universal reaction throughout the NCAA that the players were not happy about this because everybody loves offense and everybody, all the hitters love hitting home runs. And uh, th they knew going in that it was just going to be much less of that. Um, so yeah, they were upset initially. And the background, of course, is the number of home runs in the NCAA baseball has just been going up, up, up astronomically. And it, the game is not as interesting if there's just a bunch of home runs. You know, baseball is about manufacturing runs, hit and run. And so I think the NCAA felt the bats were getting really too hot. It was not fair to pass to past ages. It's really taking baseball back to the 1970s, uh, which is when they, the NCAA originally made the switch from wood bats to metal bats. Um, so the numbers have, have just crashed down. Um, offense is down about 30, 35 percent, depending on what metric you use. So the good hitters are still very, very good. But the, the weaker hitters have uh, paid the price with these new bats. So my encouragement to these high school coaches um, that we need to coach and manage differently now because the game has changed so drastically that um, sitting back and waiting for the home run is no longer a, very, a viable option. It's not a wise strategy. So you need to be more aggressive in all aspects of the game. One way in which we do that is we're extremely aggressive on the bases. We stole 120 bases last year, the most in school history. Um, we, had, we had a freshman actually steal 34 bases, which was also a school record. And that's just one way that we try to manufacture offense because the bats are not going to do it for us anymore.